Hey, good morning, everybody. Our reading today is Romans chapter 11, verse 25 through 36. And in this passage, the Apostle Paul is reminding us as Gentile believers that we should never have a conceited attitude towards the Jewish people, somehow thinking that because the Jewish people have in large, have in large part rejected the gospel and because the Gentiles um, in large part have received it, we should never think that God has rejected the Jewish people or somehow shown us favor that he's unwilling to show the Jewish people. We should never have that attitude. And unfortunately, down through history, that has happened where Christians have discriminated uh, or looked down upon the Jewish people. And they continue to be the apple of God's eye. And that is a tremendous sin on our part uh, to ever think that or to ever do that. And Paul offers three arguments in this passage on, on, on why uh, we can be sure that God is not done with the Jewish people. His first argument, he quotes an Old Testament passage saying that when Jesus returns at his second coming, that he is going to turn godlessness from Jacob. In other words, that there's going to be a great revival among the Jewish people at the end times. He also reminds us that God's promises to the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, are irrevocable. And he also makes an argument from God's impartiality. He says, we as Gentiles, God showed us mercy even when we were disobedient, and God is going to show mercy to the Jewish people even though they are now being disobedient. And so he's reminding us through these three arguments, God is not done with the Jewish people. And then he ends in this hymn of praise uh, to Almighty God, that God's wisdom, God's judgments, God's knowledge are unsearchable. And the more that we understand of God's plan for the world, the more that ought to cause us to just overflow with praise to the living God. There is one phrase in there that uh, you may wonder about. Paul says that all Israel will be saved, but we already know from his previous passages in Romans that he doesn't mean every Jewish person will be saved. He means the elect. So all Israel means, means God's elect who respond to the gospel and faith in every generation. And he also means that final ingathering at the end of the age when Christ returns. But I just, maybe the, the, uh, the thing for us today is that our hearts would overflow in praise the more that we understand God's incredible plan for the world. And we should be so thankful that the gospel has now gone out to us in the Gentile nations so that we can respond in faith. Thank you, Lord. Have a great day. Everybody.